The self-proclaimed world boss of T20 cricket, Chris Gale, has found himself in hot water again for comments made towards Channel 10's reporter Mel McLaughlin during the Melbourne Renegades win over the Hobart Hurricanes. Have a look and tell us what you think. I do have Chris Gale, uh, congratulations. Are you just not in the mood to run today? I'm um, so a bit cold, to be honest with you. Um, it's a good wicket, the ball is standing up um, when the ball shot. So, I mean, it's all about rhythm. The first ball you get eight for four, and then everything actually, you know, flow after that. So it was fantastic, and to be able to bat and pinch you up here as well is the last game, so we want to entertain the crowd. Incredibly aggressive approach for you two. It looks like you're absolutely just smashing this innings. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, I want to come and have an interview with you as well. That's the reason why I'm here, so just to see your eyes for the first time. It's nice, so... Hopefully we win this game and we can have a drink after. Don't blush, baby. I'm not, I'm not blushing. Um, did you, any injuries? Did you have the boys were saying maybe you picked up a bit of a twinge in your hamstring? Yeah, no, it's my back. Um, I've been you know, struggling with my back. Um, the weather kind of actually fared up, fared up a bit. So, I know, just to get some piece of work and hopefully I finish the tournament. So, I'm looking forward to go recover well and look in your eyes. I'm going to leave it on that note. Well done. Thanks. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> One of the more extraordinary interviews you'll ever see on network television. <laughs> Mel McLaughlin with an amorous Chris Gale. Well done, Mel. I thought you handled that very well. And she scurries off with bright red cheeks. Playing shots on and off the field. Well, Chris Gale. extraordinary Chris Gale. Uh, Channel 10, the broadcaster, also confirmed that Gale would not be involved in their coverage for the rest of the tournament as a result of the comments. Um, at 10 Sport has also tweeted what Gale had said with the hashtag, hashtag smooth. That tweet has since been deleted. Um, I don't know where to start with this. I, Simon, honestly, when I got to work this morning, I was like, at least I have a few hours to cool down before we come on broadcast. I don't know where to begin with it. Well, let's begin with it. One, being unprofessional. That's the first element. Then okay. it is incredibly sexist. It's sexist That's the second beyond one. belief. Um, and I, I want to explain why it's sexist, because we did have a discussion in the office today, and uh, many girls, many of the women, were saying, it's nice to be complimented. I like being complimented. And of course, me too. I'm no prude. But I think what we need to assess and analyze is the power imbalance. Right? Someone complimenting you uh, at a bar or at a hanging out is a whole different thing. There is a power imbalance between Chris Gale in that interview and the interviewer. So he's using his power to embarrass her. And, and the, the fact, the way she reacted to the first comment, she was mortified. He continued. And then, ladies and gentlemen, the PS de resistance. <laughs> baby, don't blush, baby. So wait, I don't know if you caught it because I watched it a million times. She then says immediately, I wasn't blushing and then carries on because that's the next thing he thinks he's being funny mm -hmm. he thinks he like she's being pleased by his attention and then you can hear that the commentator when throwing back uh, at the end of it says uh, well done Mel I think you handled that very well or whatever mm -hmm. I, I am mortified I'm embarrassed um, beyond belief well it's not the first time do you want to do you want anything to well that, that is why I started with the because you talked about the imbalance of power yeah which is why I started with the, the um, lack of um, professionalism yeah. because uh, she can't respond probably in the way that she would want to respond to an unwarranted advance, which she could do off air and so on. But her job is to ask questions and to present. But included in her job description is not that she has to um, accept unsolicited objectification. Uh, um, what, advances, what about baby? Know? What about if Chris Gill came on here and said, What well, baby? Yeah, well, How, who is your baby? I, I just know Not this, the lady. This is going to divide people. For instance, on one of the, the comments in relation to what he said. Online, you mean? Yes, somebody commented, well, if she didn't want the compliment, why is she made up to the high hills? with eye makeup that highlights her eyes and oh, so on oh, to do her oh job. Oh, my God. But the, the problem is whoever made the comment, in this profession, you look presentable as best you can. Um, for women, it means makeup. For guys, it means something else. But you have, you, it's not an invitation. Also, may I make the point that every human being has the right to live free of viol any violence, and she, whatever she wears is, a, is, not, is up to her. You must be responsible for your own for your own uh, response. Well, for, sorry, my head is hot. Well, it's not the first time that Chris Gale has gotten in trouble for flirting with a reporter while she's on the job. Back in 2014, during the CPL, Gale said this. 
How's the pitch feeling, huh? Chris? How does the pitch feel so far in terms of your training, the weather? Well, I, well, I haven't touched yours yet, so I don't know how it feels to be honest. <laughs> See, I like that smile. Pardon? I, I like your smile, that's nice. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's really good. Well, just to answer your question pertaining to the... Simon, Simon, honestly, honestly, if, the, if it weren't so bad and incredibly sexist and unwarranted and unprofessional, just, just the game is poor. I like your smile, baby. Are you in a bar? No man, no man, Chris Gale caught my head very hard. I'm totally mortified. I guess he wasn't playing for the West Indies, so I, you know, he doesn't have any responsibility to me. But I think as an international athlete who's traveled the world, he's not young and green. This man has had some life experiences, right? Has traveled and knows about international norms of, yeah, I don't know, sorry, I'm banging on. No, I, 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 don't, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I, just am hearing, I, am, am hearing I the first one again more clearly than I did the first time, it is even more egregious. It is it's, it's abhorrent. But, um, but our producers have shown us that it's not only Gail who is uh, one of the, from the Renegades dressing room, that has a crush on the Channel 10 presenter. Lost by one. And here is your Mel Allen. And before we let you go, I think you've got a special message from one of our commentators. Yeah, I just want to say hello to Mel. Beautiful Mel. I'm I was lucky enough to meet her once in Sydney. I just want to say hi. And I see she's still looking beautiful. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Thank you. Okay, um, interesting. Now, for me, that's different. That's in Mel's absence. There were very tasteful comments, even though still somewhat unprofessional. You shouldn't be commenting on someone's good looks. I mean, I work, I'm a woman, a red-blooded woman. I work for a sports channel. I see athletes every day. I would like to say, hello, good evening. What are you doing later? But, you know, <laughs> I, I mean, it's unprofessional. It's just not, it, it's not something you do. It's not the place, is it? It isn't. It's, you know, I'm trying to think if I've ever done it, but I can't think that I've ever and done again, anything like that. I mean, I might have commented on, on, you know, somebody being very good at what they do or... She is supremely attractive. She's a very good-looking uh, woman, and I, I think she doesn't need Galen Bravo to let her know. I think she's very well aware. But it'd be very interesting to hear from you across the region, because in yeah. our office today, it was ding-dong. Um, so make sure you send us a message. Yeah, send us WhatsApp messages and, and voice notes and let, let us hear. Because I have a feeling we're going to be divided on this, because... Yeah. This is the Caribbean. Now, should we turn a blind eye when the roles are reversed? Here's Maria Sharapova after getting knocked out of the Australian Open last year. How long does it take you to get over the disappointment? Like, how long until you can start again and start looking forward to the next? You have so much, like, good self-esteem when you speak. It's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> you too. Yeah. What was the question? I was just admiring your form. <laughs> uh, well, I admire yours. Interesting. Self-esteem, form, also borderline, hashtag border clash. I'm not sure. I think it's inappropriate. Well, she's saying that, she, I mean, she's, she's is doing she taken the by his thing. Is he taken by his beauty or his delivery? I didn't uh, quite get she, that. I think she said he liked, she said he liked, uh, she liked his voice and she was, I yeah. don't know, distracted by his form, which yeah, means I would say I would say that that's, if not equally egregious, because obviously yeah. it was much sweeter in the delivery, it's inappropriate. It is inappropriate. I don't know how many guys would complain, though, about Maria Sharapova. Yeah, saying, well, this is I the like problem, right? This is the problem I'd here. be going outside and saying, No, Simon, I don't, want, <laughs> I don't want to come across as having no here. sense of humor, you know. It's not like we're humorless, or I'm humorless. I just think, like, that, that is outrageous, you know. Zinedine Zidane. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's, you see, I have a different perspective because women are so often the victims of that. So if Maria flips it, I don't know that I'm going to have the same kind of reaction. Uh, reaction. It's to, back to the to, power to balance. Gales, it's back to the power balance. It's a li like, bit like discussing racism, you know, egregious all around, but one is weighted more than the other because it's, of the his yes historical and, and, and the same thing with women the, the, i think what the chris gale episode shows us is that it's very normal and natural to laugh those things off he doesn't think he's doing anything wrong he th he reckons he's being funny he i think don't blush baby was i know i know you're liking it you know just cool now you know what i mean i think that's what that was so for me that's the bigger tragedy that as a region 
Mm -hmm. know, we don't really take them, those things seriously. She was, she was aggressed in that interview. I, I, I think she was. But it's going to be interesting to hear what you have to say, and I will can be. promise you. <laughs> yes, they'll be opposing. They, they will be, they won't only be opposing, they'll be totally <laughs> polarized. Mm. And I'm not so sure that you'll find a lot of people taking the view that we have. But we shall see. Um, let's take a break, soon come. <laughs>